What's good guys and girls of YouTube? My name is Justin Omo. I'm here with the video for y'all on something new. <laughs> so maybe you're somebody who has a focus right Scarlet or you're just watching my videos because you're subscribed and you're like, oh shoot, a second generation came out? I wonder how it is. But then again, you're thinking, yo, I don't really need that. I got this and I'm content. Everything's smooth, everything's fast. And you're just waiting for some idiot to, you know, get this and then make a video about it. I'm your guy. Bam, son. Bam, son. The new Focusrite Scarlet Generation 2 2i4 audio interface. Right off the bat, I'm looking at this box and I'm looking at this box and I'm like, yo, look at the size difference, all right? Look at the, shit. Look at the size difference, all right? Right here, my whole damn hand. I have this much left. Bam, small box. Although it is a bit taller than the old box, the first generation box. Let me just go ahead and show you the rest of the box and then we'll tackle the actual sound quality or you know, what difference it sounds like. So yeah, here we go. Here is the box, how it looks, how it feels. Um, it feels definitely more smooth. I don't know why you gotta freaking know that. It looks more like a cannon box with the whole border, like white and red and where this is just, you know, straight up white in the back. We can see, you know, so much equality. We can see the fact that all these things here are white, except for the mixer. And over here, we have the whole total, you know, Black Lives Matter. Everything's black. All these instruments here are black. We got some descriptions. It shows you, it tells you, you know, what's good. It doesn't show these images. That's probably, you know, something that sucks. But it does have it in this little box here. And it just tells you, you know, software and sounds you need to get started with or some, you know, some crap. You could go online, download those. Trust me, I got it. It sounds real cool. Now, this box, when I bought it on Amazon, it said that it was going to come with Pro Tools first. But those deceiving, conniving sons of a guns. I had to keep it G-rated, but look at that. It says Ableton Live Lite. Another one. I didn't even open the box yet, but just based on looking at this, you will see like right here, we got red tips, which is very cool because the first generation, it didn't have the red tips. It has like the little, you know, black nub in, in a uh, emboss, like no deboss, whatever the hell it is, is cut in. This looks like it sticks out and I like that. And over here, if you notice these uh, knobs right here, they have like a coin, you know, like a quarter kind of feel. Well, this one over here, this is smooth, which, you know, definitely sounds and looks like an improved design feature. All right, enough fantasizing about it. Let me just go ahead and cut it open real quick. And let's see how it looks. By the way, this knife is very sharp. I cut my thumb opening the Amazon box for it. Oh my God. So here's the first impression. Paper, and then have a download include code that you shouldn't look at. Oh, 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 oh my God. Yo, if you don't know, let me just pull this shit out. If you don't have a first gen or whatever, this is the first gen over here. Black. Over here, oh my God, this bit look like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. You know how them rare cards got silver text? Oh my God. Oh. So here is the focus right. This it came in just like this. Now, if you don't know, uh, for the other box, it came like this. It came with these little cardboard milk, not milk, uh, McDonald holders, and then some stuff, silica gel for Jack, all that. Oh, this one comes with silica gel too. And look at the bottom. Look at that bottom. It's it's rubber, or it's it's actually a ball. The other focus right, on the other hand. It doesn't, it just have these little, you know, four knobs, of course. Or not knobs, but nubs. But look, they up the bottom. Oxymorons. Or juxtaposition, I don't know. Damn, they did so much damn origami with this shit. Oh my god. Fuck. Oh. Yo, they went into some extra detail. Oh man, I'm sorry, the, the light, the brightness is fucking low. That's right. They had. They didn't have to do this. They didn't have to, but they did. Why would you need an extra little uppage, like a bump? Why do you need that? You don't. But they did. That's love. Don't look at my damn cereal. I don't know if there's anything there to show. I don't give a damn. It's probably gonna be already registered. But damn. So looking at this, all right. I'm looking at it through the camera, and I'm already, you know, like jizzing in the pants. 
Oh, you can feel it. You can feel it. Oh, it's actually cut in, but it has a red line. So that really helps. Okay, here's a game. It feels smooth. They didn't do what they did over here with the whole grating stuff. Uh, if you see it, they didn't do that over on these. So that's kind of a letdown. Another letdown is that it's still rubber. If I show you this, this is why I don't like it. All right, that's my opinion. But look at that, all right? Look at all that freaking cat hair looking ass things. It's, oh my God, I don't like it. And it sucks too, because when you try to like rub it off, it's like making it worse because you got lint and shit. This is the focus right, you know, the first gen. Notice I don't got that stuff. How about the 48 volt button? Okay, that's about the same. It feels like there's something rattling in there. But that's cool, that's cool. The switch for the first gen, it sounds like this. So it has more of a snap. Where this one, I mean, it doesn't have that, that hard click, like a, not that. But yeah, it's all good. Even the source knob feels like legit. It's still plastic for what I feel I know, but yo, it feels nice. The way they did the headphone jack is pretty much the same as the one over here. Um, for my first gen, after like a good couple months, the freaking, this knob here, the source, it was kind of tripping with this and I only heard on the left side, so I was like, bruh. But like after wiggling it, it feels good. But yeah, let's jump to the back. So it's pretty much the same thing over here, except, except over here. It looks like they just punched a hole in it and then just shoved it in like, yo, just fit it in. Where in this one, which is a plus for me, the first gen, they actually had this, like freaking, uh, what is it called, a uh, nut? <laughs> nut? But it actually sticks out and I like that way more than I like this, it's just my opinion. But yeah, like why, why didn't they do that? Why did they change to this? England, it's probably England's fault. So that's something I don't, I don't know about, but damn. Now here's the shine of this focus, right? The second gen. I know it already got a lot of damn smudges on it. And here's the shine of the first focus, right? So the second one looks a little bit more polished, more shine. I don't know if it's something to do with like wearing it out or me just rubbing it, hoping for a genie. I don't know, but this one's a little bit more redder, like scarlet-er. So yeah, that's just how it is. So when I was putting back the camera, I was thinking to myself, well, it's a damn USB. So I checked in there and guess what? There is a USB. It's the same like the other one, although I didn't use the other one. I'm gonna use this one just because I wanna see if this USB here actually benefits. One more thing, the actual instruction paper, I, I didn't, you know, I put it aside, but I'm gonna read it to y'all real quick. One, read these instructions. Two, keep reading these instructions. Three, heed all warning. Four, follow all instructions. Five, do not use this apparatus near water. Six, clean only with dry cloth. And then it goes up to 15. I don't wanna, you know, give y'all all the details, but that's what it said, all right, believe me. Looks isn't what matters, it's about the work. It's about what it, you know, what you could do with it, not how long or. So, instead of just showing you the damn box and how it looks, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how it sounds and how it performs. Of course, I'm going to use the Blue Bluebird microphone, you're gonna see it, but yes, we're gonna do that after this sponsorship. So go ahead and watch this and yeah. Psych, I ain't got no damn sponsors. I wish I had sponsors. Samson, I use your stuff. Blue, I use your stuff. KRK, fucking focus right. You saw, I just spent another, you know, a lot of money for another focus right. So if you're watching this, you know, you're your company. Sponsor me, please. Aniplex, Aniplex, you know, like anime, yeah. Nintendo, look at look Nintendo. I had to come through a lot of situations just to install this thing. I actually went from Windows 7 to Windows 10 because I thought that was the issue since this is a 2016 product, a new update. So yeah, I was like, man, let me do that, let me help. And then after I went to Windows 10, I figured out the problem. It wasn't actually having to upgrade to Windows 10. But instead, I do have the recorded sounds test 
of both the first generation and the second generation. For the second generation, I went all the way up to 196 kilohertz, which is overkill. And then I went down to 44.1, which is the normal, everybody records with this sample rate kind of thing. And with the generation one, I went all the way to the highest peak it can go, which is 96. So that definitely I like 190 or 100,000 kilohertz, you know, less than the second gen. But I went all the way up to 96 kilohertz, did a record for that. And I went to 44.1, did a recording of that. And last but not least, what I did with the second gen's 196 kilohertz, I downscaled it to 44.1 kilohertz. That sound like a mouthful of confusing to you? If so, just know the higher the sample rate, just know the more it will pick up, the more samples to pick up. I made a video speaking about sample rate, bit depth, all of that. So if you hit the I button, hopefully it's over there or maybe over here, you'll see it. And one last thing, just because we're watching this on YouTube, just know the audio actually went through a lot of compression. It went to, uh, I don't know, AAC file or MP3, one or the two. Just know it did change up the way it sounds in the end. Even though I'll still play it here, I'm going to provide download links for you to listen on your own with your own audio interface. It might not get you the highest of the sound, but you can look at it, you know, take the difference and, you know, play around with that. So I'm going to go ahead and just play these real quick. If you want, you could skip it to the next part because I still got some more stuff to talk about. And yeah. Yo. What's good? Yo. Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Justin Omoe, and I'm right here doing my damn thing. Yo, what's good guys and girls of YouTube? It's your boy, Justin Omoe, here, doing the damn thing. You already know how it is. So yeah. Yo, yo. Yo. What's good guys and girls of YouTube? It's your boy, Justin Omoe, here, doing the damn thing. Still, 96 kilohertz sample rate. I got latency, but that's all right. Yo, yo. Yo, it's your boy Justin Omoe here. This is the first generation 44.1 kilohertz sample. So how do I sound? How do I sound? How do I sound? Probably the same. I don't know because you know YouTube's conversions whatnot. Unless you're seeing this on a you know a download. Or, I don't know, but yeah. Yo, <laughs> yo, 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 yo. It's your boy Justin Omoe here, 44.1 kilohertz. This is the Gen 2. It sounds so great, like the latency, like there is no latency. When I speak, I hear it immediately. Wow. Yo, what's good? Yo. Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Justin Omoe, and I'm right here doing my damn thing. Yo, what's good guys and girls of YouTube? It's your boy, Justin Omoe, here, doing the damn thing. You already know how it is, so yeah. All right, now that you've listened to it or skipped the video, whichever you want, I don't care, or, you know, yeah. I wanna tell y'all a couple more things about this second generation audio interface that I have went through when I used it. First off, it did a definite difference when I went from USB 2.0 to 3.0, and that's because I had to go to Windows 10 and all that stuff, but, because my processor said AMD, they said, oh, you got to go to USB 3.0. And so I did that. But that thing went smooth. The latency on this thing is phenomenal. Like, as soon as you speak, you hear yourself. It's like you're hearing yourself right now. Like, how, when you speak, you hear it immediately. You could record with 16 buffer rate samples and hear yourself, like, super smooth. Even if you don't use 16, 32, maybe 64, 128. It's still, it's still freaking clear. It is still, as soon as you speak, it is still phenomenal. With the first generation uh, 2i4, that bit was smooth, it was clean, but you could obviously see a difference if you tried the second generation in comparison to the first generation. And my last thing I'll tell you guys and girls before I stop, you know, talking about this is that the latch, the actual plug in for the USB port and the XLR ports in the second generation, it's like this. 
like gripped. Whereas in the first generation, it's like a slide. It, 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 you could put it in, it does have a little bit of grasp for the USB port, but the second generation, as soon as you put it in, you can't pull it out, all right? You can't pull it out. I would use references, but I don't want to, you know, like bring some rated R things into the situation, but you cannot pull it out. You gotta like use freaking grip. You gotta get one punch man over to pull this shit out. That is how strong it is. That's over exaggeration, but trust me, you can't pull it out unless you pull forcefully. Now here's a great question. If you have the Focusrite first generation, do you want the second generation? My opinion on that, Honestly, if you have the first generation and if you are only using 44.1, which is precisely normal, you're good. You don't have to get the second generation, especially if you're running Windows 7. You don't have to. The latency is smooth, smooth, smooth. But here is something. If you don't worry about the latency, if you don't care about hearing yourself when you're monitoring, you're tracking yourself when you're recording, you don't have to get the second generation. You can easily just cut yourself off. You don't wanna hear yourself, just turn it off, like I showed in my video about recording. But if you are one to go surpass 96 kilohertz, if you wanna go the extra mile to 196 kilohertz, or 192, 192, I think 196, I'm not sure. Yeah, 192 kilohertz. Yeah, my bad if I said 196 the whole time in the video. 192, if your computer's body is ready, go for that shit, it is amazing. It's just a tiny difference, and you can see it in the Edison vocal, like if you compare it, you will see a tiny difference, but that tiny difference is amazing. Definitely useful if you want to record like highest to high qualities with like the, let's say the violin, you go all the way up to the where like dogs will bark at you. You could do that, all right? You could do that. I spoke too much, this video is too long, but that's all right, that's what you came for. You came for your boy. And well, the second 2.0 generation, yeah. Overall, if you're good with what you got, there's no problems. Don't worry about getting the second generation. You don't have to. But if you want to go the extra mile, if you want to upgrade your style, if you want to go above the stars, get it. And with that being said, thumbs up the video. If you enjoyed this video, just subscribe to your boy, all right? Stop searching my name in the search bar. Just go to subscribe, click the subscribe button. And guess what? Anytime I drop a video, it'll be in your subscription field, field, feed. Social links, whatever side it is, again, search me on the social links because I be putting out stuff for the future. Like, yo, what vocal effect tutorial you want to see? Yo, uh, what do you think about this? How does this sound sound? Or maybe my music. You know, when I put it out, it's like, oh, the teaser, the teaser, the teasers. Just like what I did yesterday with Snapchat, and I think I put it on Twitter as well. I spoke about this audio interface saying I'll make it today. Well, yesterday, but today, today. You see the video right now? Today. So with all of this being said, peace. I'm out.